Hi, today is Wednesday, November 27th. This is the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, and now I am making um, a pecan pie. I'm using the recipe on the Cairo syrup, and the only variation I have is um, that I use more uh, than more ingredients, or more of one particular ingredient than the recipe calls for. Okay, I start off with the cup of sugar, cup of Cairo syrup, the two tablespoons of melted butter, the three eggs, And the vanilla the difference in uh the way i prepared this is and my cousin taught me this trick years and years ago and it is so true what you do is for your vanilla extract you know how sometimes that filling just tastes sweet and that's why a lot of people don't like it but the key to this recipe is more of the vanilla extract than what the recipe calls for try this and i'm telling you, you won't be disappointed the recipe calls for one teaspoon can you see it one teaspoon of vanilla extract I don't know if you can see it however uh, and the recipe that I use I doubled that I used two. hold on a minute Okay, I've added my two heaping, heaping teaspoons of vanilla. And that's going to keep it from having just that sweet. Some people don't like it just because it's sweet. There's really no taste to it, but with the extra teaspoon of vanilla, it actually gives it a kick. And it even smells differently when it's baking. Okay, what you see right there is the butter is supposed to be melted completely and it's not. And I like it like that. It's, it's partially melted and partially softened. And I use a little more than the two tablespoons. So, US, again, I say two heaping, um, I'm sorry, two heaping tablespoons. And last but not least, we're going to add my cup and a half of pecans. Now, I got these pecans from the Pecan Festival. They were actually big this year. And I started to get some smaller ones. But what I did, I took those big ones and I just cut them in half and uh, used two, and, I mean, a cup and a half. I'm sorry. And and that's the reason why I don't like the butter completely melted. I think sometimes when you leave that salted in there, it actually helps to uh, get the pecans to that crunchy texture that I like. Okay, and this is all. All you do is just take this batter. Thoroughly mixed. Thoroughly mixed batter. Make sure that everything is fully incorporated. Like I had a big piece of sugar at the end of that spoon. I wanted to get that off of there. Okay. Make sure you scrape your sides. Take that batter and pour it into your pie shell. Hold on. Okay, the oven is preheated to 350. We're going to bake this on the, in the center rack on 350 uh, from 50. I'm sorry, from 60 to 70 minutes, and I'm going to check it in an hour. Um, and if you can see, I don't know if you can see those little uh, soft and butter. To me, what help those pecans to um, to have just like that crunchy texture that I like. Okay, so we're going to add this to the oven on 350 and bake it for one hour, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's finished. Happy Thanksgiving. Here's the completed pecan pie, and if you can see that those little darker, that's where that soft and butter actually um, mixed with those pecans. They may look like they're a little burnt, but they aren't. They're really, really crispy and tasty. So this is the completed pecan pie. Here's the completed pecan pie, and if you can see that those little darker, that's where that soft and butter actually um, 
mixed with those pecans. They may look like they're a little burnt, but they aren't. They're really, really crispy and tasty. So this is the completed pecan pie.